filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been an officer for um, about 18 years now, and I've been assigned to the SWAT team for 11 and a half years for Sacramento Sheriff's Department. Being a part of the SWAT team has, um, has been my ultimate goal since I've been on the department, even when I was in the academy, and um, I'm just living the dream. It's um, exactly what I've always wanted to do. We're going to do an address. We just uh, waved down by um, some people on a car said that there were several armed people at their house right now, and one of their friends had been assaulted by these guys. So I'm going to drive by this house and see what's going on. 65 X ray, 64 David. Whenever you can start in that way, that'd be great. 60 David, start you. 3975. 65 X ray also advise um, SPD, it might be in their jurisdiction. We're um, a couple out. 4,000. The these, all these people right here might be related. This is going to be at 42nd Street. Is it? Yeah, well, it's 40. Hey, don't walk away. Down the ground. Get down on the down ground. ground right on now. the ground. Down the oh. ground. 6 5 where we have one running. Six. Hispanic male adult, white t shirt, jeans, affirmed towards 43rd Street. Come back! You will get bit! Come back! Non-compliant, 4240, and he's going westbound. He's standing at the fence now, still in the backyard. Come back here right now! Down the ground. Right now. Come, Come down right now. Down the ground. Down the ground. Down the ground. Down, down. down the ground. I am, bro. Hands out. I am, Hands bro. Out. I am. Hands out. I am, bro. Here. Here. 6-5 X-ray. I have him in the backyard. A 4-2-4-0. I'm okay. I'm holding him. Come on, let me in. Don't move. All right. Hand out from underneath your body. It is. Look. Hand out. Don't Go to the move. right. Don't it's move. right here. Put the other one out. It's right here, bitch. Don't Go move. to the right. Don't move. Let me go, bitch. Don't move. The mutton man. Don't move. You see my hand, bitch? Grab it. Don't move. <sighs> Stay right there. Right hand above your head. You're under arrest. Don't move. Don't move. Hand back behind your back. Hand back behind your back. Oh. Hand back behind your back. Hand back behind your back. It is. Six five oh, X-ray resume. In cuffs. Four two four zero. Four, two, four, zero. In the rear yard. I'm okay. Roll over your side. What you running from? You guys are some beasts, that's why. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit you up. Roll your side. Sit up. Bring your right leg. Bring this right leg in. Hey, homie, check this out, bro. Get up. You got me already, bitch. Stand Stop up. In my Stand up. Dude. Just. I'm trying to do is sit you up. Go ahead. Let's go. You got a cage? Yeah, huh? you go to the 719. Okay. Can I stand up here again? 
get some bread, bro? No, just give me in the car. Can I get some Get bread? over here. Dude. Open your door up. You didn't say my f this face your car? you punk ass bitch. Yeah, I know. I got nothing to say to you, bro. Sit down. Have a seat. We got a wave down, and they said at this address that um, people had a bunch of guns and stuff, and they were being assaulted. That's why we came here. And when we got here, that's he when he took off running. Knock and talk and this well, we didn't necessarily. The... Yeah, well, he was outside with a group of guys, and everyone complied, and he takes off running, and then we went out after him. We was running because he has warrants and he's a parolee at large. Yeah, according to him, he's not running for anything. No weed, no drugs. He just has a hundred dollars in his pocket. He just took he off. He just doesn't like the cops. Hey Mario, what you want? What's your address? I know address, bro. Okay, you a parolee? No. Nope. Huh? I got nothing to say to you, bro. You don't have anything to say? Okay, well, I got your info right here. So what does that mean? Okay, well, come on out. <clears throat> Turn that way. Switch him out real quick, then uh, we'll take him for that. We'll do the online. Acting up, just get in the van and do what you're supposed to do. Didn't want to give up any information as far as who he was. Through a little investigation, we determined who he was and then found out that he was a pro at large and also he had some three misdemeanor warrants as well. So that's what he's going to be going for. Okay. Okay. Used to be in the military. Wanted to get into law enforcement. This is something that I always wanted to do. I've worked for Pierce County, not quite 10 years. I love it. Got a good group of people that I work with out here. We all try to look out for each other. Right now, my partner and I are headed to a uh, domestic. Apparently, this was between brothers. One of the brothers didn't want to leave. And uh, somebody grabbed some knives. So now all we know is that there's knives involved and somebody was going back inside the house to grab a gun. So. Do you have any weapons on no, you? No, sir. I don't. I'm, uh, I'm on the phone. Okay, just relax. Put your hands back here for me just for a second, okay? Just gonna pat you down. Make sure you don't have any knives, guns, weapons, anything like that. Okay. Where's the gun at, sir? Okay. Hang out there for me. So what's going on? When he comes at me with two knives like that, I got my gun. Okay. Okay. And you're the father. I'm the father. Him and his brother started arguing, and I told him to quit it. Okay. He got mad and cussed at me and told me I was no good and he went in his room and I told him to go in there and told him to shut up and leave the situation alone. He pulled the first little knife right there. I told him, I ain't going to put up with you. Okay. I went and got my gun and told him, no, you ain't going to do this to me no more. Okay. here as long as I have. Now you're the brother? Yeah. Okay. Alan, you live here or? No. No, this is mom and dad's house. And unfortunately my brother's at this time. So what happened? I came to drop my son off. Um, my mom, uh, my wife has a friend out of town so we wanted to spend the, hang out and have a good night with her and so I dropped my son off. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess Steven got a letter from his soon-to-be ex-wife because she took his kid. And uh, I read the letter. He's like, did you see the letter? And I was like, yeah, I was over here earlier. I read the letter. And I said, he goes, well, I'm mad about it. And I said, dude, I think it's kind of funny. You know? But, I mean, in the position that you're in, I said, look at the humor side of it. And, and then he flipped out. And he's like, don't laugh at my pain. And, and I was like, dude, I'm not laughing at your pain. What the hell are you talking about? And he flipped out and started calling me all kinds of names and told me to get the out of the house. And I was like, this is mom and dad's house. I don't need to leave. 
but I'm not spending my night going to sit here and argue with you. So he called the cops on me, telling them that I wasn't going to leave, which I'm going to leave because I got better things to do and argue with a 42-year-old adolescent. And uh, then he comes outside with that knife and whatever else he had in his hand. And I'm thinking, you are not coming at me with that because I would have got out regardless. I don't have no weapons on me. Not a taken from him. So he had a knife in each hand? He had a knife in that the other thing that you had, whatever that was. And then my dad come out and my dad's gun was at the side and he goes, if you ever point a knife at me, and so Stephen turned around and raised him up and started to go at him, my dad was like, do it. Do it. Did he make any, what did he say while he was coming at your dad with the weapons in his hand? Uh, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Go ahead, shoot me. I dare you, take me out of my pain, take me out of my misery, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, geez, put everything down and think about what you're doing and stop and. Okay. and so your, your dad obviously felt that his oh, life was in jeopardy. Yeah. This hasn't been the first time that Steven's come at my dad with weapons. Okay. Well, this is the firearm. I've already unloaded it, but this is the firearm that dad um, apparently came very, very close to shooting his son with tonight. Um, I've already taken the two knives. Actually, they're not even knives. It's, one of them is like a, a little mini sword. And the entire time the son was uh, walking towards him, asking for dad to shoot him. So I'm just glad nobody's hurt. All I was asking for was a little compassion. You couldn't even give it to me. I'm, dude, I'm trying. I tried then, OK? <laughs> trying to give it now. All right, bud. Thanks. Sorry. They won't let me talk to you. Take a couple breaths, OK? <laughs> it's about to be trained by everybody I've ever known, OK? I'm the felon, so I have to automatically go. I understand that no, OK, don't tell me no don't That's tell me it. no because you're lying to me, all right? Don't get spun up. Don't get spun up. The, re the reason why I you're going to bud. Because I have a record. I have no. a felony. No. I didn't even know you from Adam when I showed up here. I've never even met you before. The reason that you're going to jail, though, is because your dad and your brother both said that you picked up those knives and you started walking towards dad, saying, go ahead and shoot me. Go ahead and shoot he me. He had the gun, OK? What is a knife going to do against the gun. Why were you walking after your dad saying, go ahead and shoot me? Because he was threatening me, and I wanted to show him I'm not afraid. Okay. Yes, I have okay. the knife, but they weren't up in a defensive or attacking posture. Okay. They were down. And the reason why you did that is because you wanted to show dad that you were not afraid of him. Is that right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. But he knows I'm afraid of him. OK, I've had to out of me by then. <laughs> and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of getting screwed. I'm done with all this. This is the last time you'll see me alive. Honey. I am done. You were the one who called the cops, not me. No, Alan did. No, no. Alan called him out here when dad had the gun stick in my face. Yeah, I, I'm, the, I'm the one that gets to go to jail. I love you, honey. I'm done. Dad was on the porch with the nickel-plated 45 and Steve was walking right towards him with the knives. So dad exercised some good self-control, I think. He's going to be going to jail for domestic violence harassment tonight. I love Lake Worth because it's a small city by the sea. It's five square miles of everything that's diverse. I mean, you got people from different parts of the world, and everybody comes and meets. And you know, it, it mixes it up. You know, fireworks collide, and it's, uh, it makes work to be a blast. Uh, right now, we're headed to a it's a armed disturbance call, and the caller stated that, uh, I guess his father-in-law had threatened to uh, do some sort of harm to him with a, either a knife or a hammer or something like that. So we're heading over there right now to check it out. Robert. All right, where's Robert at? Where's Robert at? Inside, where at? In his room. All right, come on out. Did he threaten you all the knives, or did he just threaten you? Yeah, he threatened to kill me while I'm sleeping. Okay. Right. Still still yeah, just hang right here. You guys don't have anything on? No, we don't. Albert? Yeah. Come out here, man. Come out here. We got no weapons on it, dude. Oh, hell no, bro. Come out here for him. Come on. Go that way. Go this way. What's up? Come here. Come on. 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 Come on.
Oh, no. Hey. Bro, hey. Robert, you got anything on you or no? No, sir. No, sir. Is everyone else What's in it? What's the problem? I'm going to call stress for now. What's the problem? Push handcuffs for safety purposes, all right, Robert? Listen, I got nothing. I done nothing. What What exactly happened? Um, he was he was talking about how he's gonna kill my family. Who is he to you? Uh, my father. That's your father? Yes, sir. And he said he's gonna kill you and your family. He's gonna kill me and him tonight, cause over some dope that he that we so called stole from him. He has two crap pipes in the house, and he smokes it 24 seven, and he threatened to kill me tonight. Okay. He said, we better not go to sleep or you're going to kill us. Who's this? Is this your boyfriend, your fiance? Yes, sir. Like I told you. Hey, Robert, listen to me. Yes, sir. You sure you didn't make any threats or anything like no, that? No, sir. Time? Nothing like that? No, sir. What's up with this $40 that uh, they're claiming that you stole worth of narcotics? What's going Excuse on? Excuse me? $40 worth of what? Narcotics. I mean, <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to yeah, it's the biggest out. joke in the world. Strong, what did you say? You smoking any crack tonight, no, Robert? No, sir. What's I'm 60 years old. That's my house, That's your house my sir. rules. If we go inside, we're not going to find any knives no, in your sir. room or no, like that, right? Oh, I have knives, believe me. I, I've got a sword. I have a, a knife that goes on the end of a gun. But her probation officer, she, she came here, she's on probation. And they said as, as long as, you know, you know, okay. she wasn't around, I could have her. Nothing physical happened, right? No oh, no, 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 bro. No, bro. I Listen, I'm not that stupid. Okay. Amanda, you tell me exactly how it happened from start to finish. She got drunk, and he called somebody over to get um, some drugs and stuff. And they went in the room, sold him his drugs, and then he came back out. And we went outside because he started he started smoking in the house and he can't be around it because he'll be sick. Okay. And I can't be around it either because I never I never touched the stuff. I never actually know what it looked like until tonight. Then he's talking about, oh, we stole his dope when we went because he was tripping. I helped him look for it because he's all he does is trip about the dumbest stuff. Okay. And he's talking about, oh, he said, y'all better not sleep tonight because y'all better expect me to kill y'all. And I'm like, well, what's whatever. Cause I'm like, he's like, well, he started pointing out objects on on TV. He pointed out the, I don't know, it's a, it's like a wrench. I guess it's a wrench or something. It's like a tool you use to make fix cars and stuff. He, he pointed, he picked that up tomorrow. This one I'm gonna use on you first. And I'm gonna, he he picked up a knife and said, I'm gonna cut y'all next. And we'll be right back with you guys, okay? All right, we're gonna take a look around the apartment, look for the uh, weapon used in the crime. Oh man. Got a knife right there. Knife and a wrench, just as she described. Stem in there, just like she said. Anything else? Nah, not right now. What I'll do is I'll get a uh, some evidence bags yeah. and stuff like that. I'll bag that stuff up. And then uh, I'll grab the two statements confirming the story. Okay, perfect. Hey, Robert, I got a question. Does this belong to you? No, sir. This was, that was right next to you. No, it wasn't. I just got home. You just got home? That's right, sir. Stand up for me? Yes, sir. All right, all right here's the deal, all right? You're being arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, all right? How? How? Listen. Who arrested you? I'm right, you. Right, listen. Wait. Hey, calm down, all right? Watch your noggin. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Aggravated. Yeah, I yeah. just got home. Spread your feet for me. Hey, quit hollering, man. People are trying to sleep. Spread your feet for me some more. Amanda, you're done. Hey, listen. People are trying get to sleep. Get out of my house. Calm down. Go ahead and I want seat, you right? to give my $40. You're going to get all that, all right? No, I don't want it to go with me. Hey, have a seat, Robert, all right? Watch your head. But I Lean for back what, for me. sir? I'll explain for it to what? you in a second. Just have a seat. I didn't do anything. Robert, wrong. I got a couple questions. I asked you, what's going on with this knife and the wrench in your bedroom? Oh, God. What's going no. on with these? I don't know. You have this knife? Oh, God, that's nothing, sir. I'm not going to hurt nobody. I love my daughter. I brought her. I put her with... That's my Rachel. 
as my wife, as my dad. Robert, <laughs> Robert, why would you do that to your daughter? It's your daughter. You have better I, ways to go I about that. I didn't do anything. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. Well, you can learn to manage your anger Robert, a lot better, all right, Robert, rather than pull a knife Robert, on your daughter. I did not. That bitch said I'd pull a knife Robert, you're going to jail for tonight, all right, sir? No, look. And you please, can try to deal please, with it another night. Please. I didn't do anything. Obviously, he has some kind of anger problems. Well, the drugs will do that to you. I'm sure it was hard for the daughter to give us a call and try to get him out for the rest of the night, but it's best for the family. Hopefully, he could uh, resolve his anger. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 10 transmit on tech. The performances have been spectacular. American Idol Season 10 talent is hot. Wednesday on Fox.